active interactive session and uh, we were waiting for you to interact with us before because uh, friends first of all learners i would like to request that we will be taking the general queries or the exam related queries afterwards because sir is uh, with us up to 20 minutes maybe around so yes. we would like to hear first professor vk gav and if you have gone through his profile a well known researcher a mountain of uh, research article to his credit and uh, lots of lots of national and international achievements to his credit so i welcome you again sir and sir thank you i humbly request you to give a message to our researcher budding researcher number 1 i would like to request you to categorize your uh, blessings in three categories like for budding researcher for mid career researcher and established researcher that what should they do and how should they do taking into the considerations of the scarcity of resources and funds and how they can connect their work to the growth of the nation or the society so i welcome you sir over to you pranam okay. thank you thank you dr rajesh melty and a very good afternoon to all of you dear learners uh, i am thankful to dr ajay that he has given me a chance uh, to talk to you people friends let me tell you first of all that uh, academic writing is very very important in uh, some of the lectures you might have heard dr uh, ajas melty also telling that academic writing is having the mighty power in the past we used to call it scientific writings generally whenever i interact with students nowadays i say this is uh, academic writing is more appropriate word than uh, scientific writing because if you go 40 years or 50 years back nobody was talking about global warming nobody was talking about tsunamis nobody was talking about uh, ozone layer depletion nothing doing even in past you might have seen some movies where hero of the movie is working in some company in uh, hilly areas and working as a manager in some sawmill where the trees are cut and wood logs are sent to the plains like that but nowadays because of the academic writings done by the scientists like you 30 40 years ago to telling the people what will be the effect of cutting the forest what will be uh, the effects of ozone layer depletion like that in every area there are so many fields i think in one of the lectures dr ajay has explained it uh, very nicely and you i think that is fourth or fifth uh, lecture of dr ajay if i am not wrong i think he can tell better dr sab kaun sa lecture hai wo aapka uh, forest ke se related jo humne padha tha ha sir is or third lecture maybe where we say that academic writing is having mighty power yeah first lecture rather it was the very first lecture okay that is very yeah. first lecture jo aapne dekha bhi hoga sabhi ne so that is a wonderful uh, lecture so now friends next question arise regarding the research see what is happening presently and what i have seen presently some body after doing masters after doing net or after uh, getting grf they will go to some faculty member in some university ke sir mere ko phd karna hai i want to do phd so then generally what is happening the faculty member or that particular scientist will say okay mr x is working on that area you start working him he is working on x molecule we will work on y molecule or he is working on axis bank you will do on uh, hdfc bank or he is working on x village you work on y village he is working on ramdhari singh dinkar and you do the same things on smitra nandar pant like that things are happening presently friends this is not the right way the right way is first of all let you have a research question for yourself the most important thing is the research question 
टू विच यू वॉन्ट टू आंसर इन यूर रिसर्च के भाई मैं ये क्वेश्चन है कि वट टू डू वट टू डू ऑफ दिस पॉलिथीन बैग्स विच आर नाउ डेज लिटर्ड एवरीवेयर इन होल ऑफ द कंट्री ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि कोई बच्चा प्लास्टिक में कुछ कर रहा है आप भी कुछ शुरू कर दे नो दैट इज नॉट द राइट वे सो सिमिलरली सपोज यू आर इन एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग then you must have a research question for you whether you want to work on some hilly area whether you want to work something for desert area you want to do on irrigation like that one thing is this second thing is always try to work in the area in which you are interested don't go by the area which is suggested by your guide the very first thing is this second thing is how how to prepare your research proposal your synopsis see every good research is having three parts very first part is good research design when you make your synopsis then what 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 should be done the very first thing is you should decide your broader area then your specific area then do proper review of literature and when you are deciding your area please keep into your mind the expertise available to you the resources which are avail- available to you ab now you make a proposal facility of the same is not available in your university in your whole state not even in the reach of your guides and how you will achieve after four or five years you will be in trouble you will be ending nowhere so whenever you do this all side by side if some kind of approvals are required always take prior to starting your research for example you want to do work on some animal you make your proper plan and every university is having animal ethics committee you take approval from that committee if suppose you want to do work in uh, in some plants in some himalayas always take permission of that particular uh, you can say forest officer of that particular area that yes i want to एंटर इन दिस एरिया वॉन्ट टू डू दिस चोरी से नहीं जाना है कहीं भी सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू डू समिंग वर्क ऑन रिफ्यूजी कैंप डोंट एंटर इन द रिफ्यूजी कैंप विदाउट द परमिशन ऑफ द प्रॉपर ऑफिसर सो ऑलवेज टेक ऑल काइंड ऑफ एथिकल अप्रूवल्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ लीगल अप्रूवल्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यूर रिसर्च दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट वॉज यूर रिसर्च डिजाइन सेकेंड पार्ट इज डूइंग यूर रिसर्च दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स whenever you are doing research always maintain a lab copy or lab notebook suppose 20 years down the line somebody say this is my data and mr x has copied this this was my research paper mr x has like that some kind of allegation on you in that case that your rough notebook those your lab notes will come for your rescue you can present your lab notes to anybody okay gentlemen see this work i did on this date in this lab at this time yes there is a possibility that two people may be working on similar field as happened in case of nylon one person was working in new york one was working in london and on the same day they discovered and that's why nylon was given the name nylon and why is taken from new york and yellow and is taken from the london because they were maintaining their lab records they were having all the proofs so this is one thing second very important is that uh, use proper protocols standard protocol should be used proper technique should be used proper number of replicates should be taken whenever you are doing your research so after doing your research some data will be generated and that data you will be presenting in your uh, thesis in the form of some tables in the form of some uh, you can say figures like that now a very important question arises here what to do of that research data should we take phd degree and after that that thesis that data will be sitting in some rack of some library is this good or we can do something of that data so friends i am putting this question to you people what do you think what you can do of that research data those 30 40 tables which you have generated 
the data which you have generated by spending most youthful years of your life zindagi ka sabse aham period aapne laga ke jo data generate kiya uska kya kare hum i am putting this question to you people can any one of you will tell what you think what can be done of that research data any one please little bit discussion anyone uh, good afternoon sir good afternoon dr kishor good afternoon sir i think the research data uh, is a very valuable data which is which comes to us after a lot of uh, uh, concerted effort and yeah. if we simply yeah. go for dissertation writing or phd thesis writing we write that and we and that thesis which is of course uh, truth that uh, uh in uh, most of the research cases which happens in library or in such certain uh what you call uh, settings those research dissertations or thesis go to the rack as you are pointing out sir yeah so yeah. that Very research right. data is something like a gold something like a treasure yes. and uh, a very good paper or something in the form of academic writing should come up which can be helpful for the society because uh, any research which has no meaning which does not contribute to the society uh, has no meaning so exactly. to my opinion and uh, this is a considered fact also that uh, data should be very carefully used and a very good papers should come which can be uh, helpful in contributing to the growth and development of the society that should be able to provide a direction to the policy maker and to to the other uh, budding researchers also dr kishore has very rightly said that one of the possibility of using your data is its publication so that it can be used by other people but when you are publishing your data you should be very very careful friends publishing a wrong data may take whole research in a wrong direction i will give you one example there was one geologist and he published a fake research paper and in that fake research paper he published that 2 million year ago in himalayas the animals were having this kind of teeth some kind of the teeth he presented out i found in himalayas and like that blah 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 now that was very interesting paper then there was one paleonto botanist paleonto botanist means the people those are working on the you can say history of the botany he found this paper very interesting and based upon that research paper of the teeth that scientist predicted what kind of vegetation existed at that time on the basis of that teeth that this kind of leaves were there like that third scientist found it very interesting and he published another paper that that what plants today are the relatives of the plants which existed 2 million year ago at that time later on it was found that teeth paper was a fake research paper so can you see the whole wrong direction was started based upon one wrong paper so what i want to say and what dr kishore has said that whenever you publish whatever you publish that should be with accountability that should be with responsibility the publication should not be just for the purpose of publication as long as publication is not done with accountability with responsibility that will not be called as a academic writing so this is one idea that is given so what may be the another thing that can be done of this data any other one please a very good discussion has been started anyone please ek to doctor sahab ne bata diya publication aur kya ho sakta hai uska anyone sir okay uh, let me give you uh, one more example Uh, friends for some time i worked in a very good university that is epfl that is in uh, switzerland they have a very you can say established committee over there that what to do of research data that is the duty of that committee so what what is happening over there that i would like to share with you whenever any student is getting any phd <coughs> very first day the thesis of the student is given to a committee senior people very learned people well connected people the people see the data and if they find that this data is having some potential of commercialization they immediately call the student 
and they ask the student to start a company to start a startup and they help the uh, student to set his company in the incubation center of the university and they give 1 million grant 1 million dollar grant immediately to the student to start that but in lieu of that they keep some share in that company say 10% 20% wherever that decision is taken between the company and the student so this way presently that university is having more than 1500 startups incubated in their incubation center imagine one startup out of 100 become a unicorn 10 years down the line aap soche 10 saal ke baad koi 1 billion dollar ki company ban gayi now the university will not be dependent on any government grant they will be getting the sufficient money from there so the very first possibility which they look in any thesis any data is the commercialization potential and they don't only look if they find any commercialization potential they immediately help the student all kind of support is provided by the university second thing which they see if the committee finds okay this is not having any commercialization value immediately but it may be in future so they go for the patenting of the data they call the student they call their patent officer they give the thesis and they ask their patent office okay sit with the student and write the patent and they immediately file the patent and once the patent is filed imagine out of 100 patents one patent is commercialized 10 years down the line then some money will be going to the university some will be going to the student also third thing if the committee finds neither the data publishable uh, sorry neither the data commercializable not patentable they give thesis back to the student and say thank you very much take it and publish it so friends uh, now if i come to this commercialization and patenting that all that is depending upon the way they have presented the data in the thesis the academic writing which they have done in their thesis that is speaking or that is depicting the value of that uh, data so what i want to say if a very good data that is commercializable that is patentable if you don't present it properly if you don't describe it properly that data you can say maybe or not of any use i will give you an example you all might have seen one movie i think three idiots dekha hoga bol bata sakte hain dekha hai ki nahi dekha hai dekha hoga na bahut logon ne movie three idiot so there was a scene when many technologies small small technologies have been shown in that uh, movie basically there is one professor professor anil kumar gupta he, he is professor in iim ahmedabad he is starting uh, he has started some uh, ngo and that ngo is helping the common people of the country to get their innovations be patented so anil gupta has done his phd from hau haryana agriculture university hisar and you know what was the topic of his research how much research has been done on the usage of nitrogen fertilizer and how much of that has been published or used you will be surprised to know that was the era of the green revolution and that all you will be surprised to know he found that only 2% of the research that has been done by the young people young researchers like you on uh, nitrogen fertilizer uses only 2% of that has been published 98% is dumped somewhere in some self of some library so what is the use of that research as dr kishore has said that is gold imagine imagine that if that all research would have been published if that all research would have gone to the people of this country to the farmers of this country how much increase would have been there in the agricultural production aaj hamare kisan ki halat kahin se kahin hoti if we would have published that all so friends uh, so third part of any research design is 
dissemination of your data, publication of uh, your data, which I was telling you, this may be in the form of some commercialization, this may be in the form of some patent, this may be in the form of some research paper. Now a question arises, uh, keeping in view the Indian climate and Indian scenario of the universities, presently maximum emphasis in India is given uh, on publication only. So a question arises, where to publish? which is the best platform for the publication of your research data. Again, I am putting this question to the participants. What do you think? Where should we publish our research data? Any of the participants, please. Yes, participants, please. Sir. Any participant? Uh, again, sir. Uh, please, any participant? Sir. Uh, I think uh, whenever we are trying to publish, we should aim to publish our uh, work in a very good journal with a good yes. publication, which pub, uh, which uh, follows the publication ethics and the uh, journal editors who maintain the academic integrity yes. and uh, the journals which are having a wider uh, coverage or wider Circul access. Circulation, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, so, so you have very right. Uh, continue, please. Uh, so we should not go for any predatory journals, uh, exactly. which publish uh, just for the sake of publishing by charging some publication fee and all. And those who are primarily uh, aiming at having a good business by any means, by any unfair means, by you know, uh, by by not giving even due regard to the academic integrity. So we should not go for those kind of journals. Uh, yes, so Dr. Kishore has very rightly said that we should go for some standard journals. We should not publish in predatory journal. He has brought one term to you that is called as predatory journal. I think uh, Dr. Ajay Melty might have told in some lecture regarding the predatory journals. Dr. Ajay? Yes, sir. Uh, we, the predatory mm. journals are very dangerous. They are eating your work as well as they are cheating you of money also. Always avoid that kind of journals. Uh, for example, I know uh, my university is in Batinda. So there are some Batinda Journal of Environmental Sciences. If you ask them that how many copies of your journal are published, they will say 10 copies. One is given to the each of the author because we publish in every, uh, every copy 10 papers. So what will be the circulation of that? That paper is just for publication only that paper is having no use. Friends, those people are talking of ozone layer depletion and that all. If they would have published in that kind of journals, do you think that that, that issue would have been a global issue by now? They published in best kind of journals. That's why today whole of the world is knowing about uh, that. Uh, another thing which we are facing nowadays, that is called as sir. Uh, Salami publications. Salami publications. Salami, you know, abhi kabhi aapne dekha hoga ye meat, meat ki dukaan pe hota hai na, wo thoda khurch khurch ke aapko wo pakta rehta hai, heater se ke andar ghoomta rehta hai, aur wo utar utar ke aapko thoda thoda dete rehte hai bahar se. That kind of publications are called as salami, is salami slicing. Many people I have seen, what they are doing, they have a one, set of research data, they are publishing, publishing that into 10 papers or 5 papers just to increase the number of papers. And none of the paper is of any use. So whenever you are publishing your data, don't worry the numbers. Publish it into complete so it can be of some use. Nowadays, people have started rejecting salami slicing. There is another term which is used nowadays that is Inzel finger rule. Ingel, I N G E L F I, Ingel finger rule. So, what is that? Basically, Ingel finger was the editor of New England Journal of Medicine. So, what he found, whenever somebody is finding some new, very exciting kind of thing in the field of medical, in the field of pharmacy, biochemistry, microbiology, very next day they are uh, having a press conference and they are publishing it in newspapers, in magazines, before it is published in the journals. 
So that editor found that by the time the article is published in our journal, this is stale. Basi ho chuka hota hai, uski hotness ja chuki hoti hai, uski excitement ja chuki hoti hai. Log kehte hain, okay, 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 this is the same thing which I saw in that newspaper like that. So he gave this rule. Angel finger rule is that whenever, whenever any data published anywhere in any form will not be published again. I think you understand, Dr. Ajay, what I want to say. If already you have published, presented anywhere, it will not be published. That is called as Angel Fengal rule. And for senior professors, I have uh, one more term. Uh, can anybody tell me what they understand by academic careerism? Academic careerism. Can any any of the teachers will throw some light on this academic careerism? Anyone, please. What do you think? What is this term? Anyone? अरे भाई गलत ही तो होगा कौन सी आफत आ जाएगी? So what you feel? What is called as academic careerism? Yes, sir. Sir, I can make a guess. I am ah, not please, sure whether please. I am right. Anna, uh, koi, koi galat uh, ka koi issue nahi hai hai. Academic careerism is something in which the academicians uh, focus on their own uh, advancement or maybe their own enrichment rather than uh, uh, rather than following the academic academic integrity or. Uh, Biasness yes. and such kind of things. You are, you are, very, right. You are very right. This part is for this kind of teacher people. Career is a very far substitute. Please mute. I just mute correct. Keep correct and mute. Just a minute. I will mute. Okay. Huh. So, sir, academic careerism is where the senior person is uh, doing everything to for his career without paying attention to the juniors or to the PhD students, taking himself all credit. That should not be. This is a negative sense word. Means whenever any PhD student is working with us, any junior is working with us, we should not consider our servants or slaves. They should be considered as partners. When we will consider them as partners, this will be a win-win situation for all of us. Uh, so I think, uh, Dr. Ajay, otherwise I can continue for hours, but I have to leave. I had given you 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So if they take a question, I think uh, they can ask me. Yeah. Any question if they have? Uh, so dear learners, if you have any queries, please unmute yourself. And it has been, uh, you know, in just few minutes, sir has given a lot of insight regarding the various different perspective and issues of academic writing and the hope. Uh, and uh, if you don't know, sir, sir also runs a online course on solid uh, solid and hazardous waste management uh, it's a wonderful course who are uh, there in the field of environment uh, and uh, waste management that is the ultimate course and it has been the flag bearer in the swayam mooc platform with the maximum credit transfer from the day one and uh, i hope you will see his course again and uh, you will ask your students especially for the who are giving their electives in the environment because in most of the universities his course is taken for the uh, taken as the subject course subject as the for the credit transfer uh, so in your universities also i request on behalf of professor gub i request all of you to recommend his course for the credit transfer for the first year or second year students so that the swam legacy can pass on or can that NAP may be implemented to all the universities at the grassroots levels. So, sir, I think uh, sir is on the way to uh, So, humble thanks, sir. Gratitudes for sparing Thank your you, valuable sir. time for us, sir. <laughs> bahut, bahut Thank you, sir. Rather, I was traveling. You can see I am sitting in my car only. I have yeah, stopped my car on the way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, bahut, dear bahut, bahut, bahut. Mother, best of luck. Best of luck. Have a nice day.
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू प्रणाम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू so now we will be taking uh, so you were hearing professor vk garg from central institute of punjab department of environment science and technology uh, he is a well known researcher as you can go through to his scholar profile you will come to know the variety of work or uh, research work that too which is applicable to the you know which has got which is application oriented purely devoted to the environment society his work uh, the impact is impeccable those who are in related field please do refer to his profile and see the quality journals in which he has published his work his team has published his work and uh, as you can see i as i mentioned earlier with h index 76 with this much humbleness uh, i am always grateful that i get the blessings of the einstein of the present field and working towards the sustainable development of the humanity so i think we should learn from the our researchers kehte hain ki in in sanskrit it is called mahajana yena gata sapantha means where the path what is the path the path where is the one in which the great people go towards which the great people move so let's follow the legacy of the research of researchers like professor vikay garg so we are uh, very lucky that we could get his time valuable time and uh, sometime in future also we will invite him for a full fledged interactive session so now if you have any queries because it is the last day for the uh, exam registration and i would like to let you know i think we are in the top 5 courses in the exam registration so far and so good however the final numbers are going to come but yes if you have done your uh, you know you have, you have given your efforts why not to get the certification get the certificate of academic writing just five assignment are going to be counted for the maximum scores uh, maximum five and only the 40% is the passing marks but if you haven't done even a single assignment so far please do it it's still time is there 5th of may is the last date of assignment for weekly assignment even if you complete your uh, five assignment for uh, assignments you will be able to pass the exam i can assure and uh, believe me the paper is not going to be Uh, of uh, subjective type or going not going to be a very tough one it's just a, because the aim of the course is to trigger an academic writer in you you know i know that no one can learn the academic writing by just doing a course it is to be practiced as i told you earlier that even the established researcher get the rejections when they are communicating their manuscript to the various journals repeated journals it's a phase of learning for every researcher throughout his or her life so if you have any queries please unmute yourself and uh, i'm again telling you don't wait for the last hour or last minute okay otherwise you will be in problem uh, because in the last hours or last minutes the server is very heavy and uh, uh, the due to rush so you may not complete your task whether you are submitting your assignment subject assignment or you are registering for the exam so 18th may shift 1 is the fixed shift you cannot change this if some many of the learners are asking that yes can uh, can i opt another shift another day no you can't uh, you know opt for the day or the shift you have to stick to that timetable which has been given by the nta for the uh, exam swayam exam please do register on time and uh, i believe that everyone will get the certificate if they have done little bit of efforts in completing their assignments uh, at least weekly assignment if they are done surely they will pass i can assure you okay so friends if you have any query you can unmute yourself ya yeah, ya yeah, tapas if you you have raised your hand uh, tapas kumar pradhan Uh, unmute yourself and 
Hello, sir. Am I audible? Uh, yeah, warm good afternoon to all of you. And dear sir, sir, the uh, query is that uh, how many assignment uh, we need to do for uh, the internal evaluations? If you are sure that you are going to score hundred percent in all this, I. Uh, if you do five only, I think you may qualify. But for safe side, I uh, always say that do all the assignments, weekly assignment, all weekly assignment. Uh, you will be able to pass for sure. And if you will get 100 uh, percent, it means 30 marks. So it will be 30 marks. Means it is a weightage out of 100. We take 30 percent of the weightage. If you got 100 percent marks in the internal, then the total score in the mass sheet will be reflected as 30. OK. Whatever you score out of 100, it's 70% weightage will be taken into the final mark sheet. It means you must score at least 40%. It means 12 marks in the internal assignment and 12, uh, that uh, 28 marks in the that is weightage I'm talking about. Okay, so it's better if 30 marks are there. It may, if you get 100% in the internal score, then obviously you will get 30 marks here. But Again, you have to get at least 40 marks out of 100 and 40 marks out of 100 means that is 28 marks will be there. So uh, in the external, so if by this way, 28 plus 12 is completely 40. So the weightage is according to the internal and external performance. And then only if you get 40 percent marks in internal, 40 percent marks in external, you will get the certificate. If you lose in any of it, either in internal or external, in scoring, if you uh, couldn't score, if you uh, couldn't score the 40% minimum, then you will not be eligible for the certificate. Though you have given the exam, though you have given the, uh, despite of the fact that you have submitted your examination form, given the exam, if you skip the minimum criteria of 40% in internal as well as, mark my word, as well as in external, then only the certification will be given. So just uh, it's very easy. Please uh, just complete your assignments. It's just if you see it for one day, even I think you will be able to complete your assignments. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. You have a nicely uh, clarified. But uh, as I have uh, like a regular uh, guys from this academic course and I have completed all the tax and lecture with the PDF node. So I need to do any extra curriculum for performing good in the external uh, exams or our the node from the academic writing is enough. Can you please enlighten yeah, on obviously, this? The, obviously, if you go through all the notes, whatever they provided in the exam, you certainly you will score very good. OK. Uh, however, some of the things like which are of general interest, say for example, like SOM plus regarding the SOM plus, uh, like uh, you in my in might might be there that some things are not updated there, like 2018 regulation of plagiarism. It is not mentioned in the text, but yes, you should be aware of that. What is the latest plagiarism regulation act when it was released in 2018? It because the course was prepared already in 2018, so it might not be there in the text. However, we have given extra material regarding that. But yes, you should be updated that SWAM, apart from SWAM, what is the new uh, you know, platform by the government of India? That is SWAM Plus. SWAM gives in previous early uh, times in starting only 20% of the papers can be taken for the credit transfer from the SWAM courses. But in 2020, the uh, it has been increased to 40 percent. So please do remember these things. Otherwise, you can do very easily by just going through the content which have been shared to you. OK. OK, sir. OK, thank you. Just do all the self assignment, all the quiz, final quizzes. Go through it because after the 5th of May, you will be seeing the right answer even in the you are graded quiz. So what you will be seeing the right answers below that. Uh, as you check your answers in the self assessment in the same manner, all the assignment of the graded assignment will be showing the right answer after the 5th of May. OK, thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm having one question. Yeah, please. Uh, say for although we will try our level best to appear in the final examination, but for uh, some unbecoming happening or for some other reason, which is beyond our control, if uh, any student uh, fails to appear in the final examination, the external examination. 
uh, what is the probability of appearing again in the examination? Do we have to register to the course once again or on the basis of completion of the course, we can appear in the uh, examination next year or something like that? That is one question. And uh, the other question, yeah. The other question is regarding uh, this uh, submission of assignment. I had a little difficulty. I just want to share this because the kind of uh, problem I experienced, uh, the, some other students may also be having the similar kind of uh, problems. They might have missed uh, uh, two mandatory assignments, the subjective assignments. So uh, with taking your advice, I completed that uh, uh, that course on referencing, which you are offering on some other platform and you have provided the link. Initially, I had a problem in uh, logging to that, so I created the login and then uh, I <coughs> had to purchase that uh, uh, zero, zero rupees payment. Zero rupee payment. Of course, we didn't have to make any uh, uh, money for that, but that procedure of purchase has to be completed and then the courses were available to us. So the other students who may be facing the same problem, you complete the payment process, no amount will be deducted from the uh, bank account or uh, the UPI payment gateway, whatever is there. But the courses in the link will be open only when you complete the payment process. So that is for the information of the other students, which I got from the CEO from the uh, course, which I Thank wanted you. to Thank share. So the first question, if you are kindly. Thanks yeah. for updating, sir. And yes, really, because it is always challenging because some persons are offering us a platform for us. And next time we will uh, try to make it easy for all. But yes, for your for your first question, I would like to clarify that till date, this is the rule that if someone fails or someone doesn't appear in the examination exam, then he or she has to redo after the re-registering into the exam in the next cycle which may be after the gap of one semester, okay? But the UGC is going to, uh, is considering the fact that if someone uh, fails or someone uh, fails to appear in the exam, then he or she may be given the chance by the university, concerned university provided the exam is being or provided that certificate is being adopted that academic writing is or that particular course is being adopted for the credit transfer okay if it is for credit transfer say for example it is to be included in the uh, into the mark sheet then the ugc is thinking is considering it's not finalized yet that uh, they are going to, they are willing to give the opportunity to the concerned universities that they can, con they can conduct their exam, the examination of that particular paper in their university or institution itself. But it's still to be materialized. But till date, till now, the, uh, the answer of your first question is the one who fails or fails to reappear in the, fails to appear in the examination has to redo the examination after the re-registration or re-enrollment in the next okay. cycle. Okay, okay. Sir. now it's clear. Then uh, another question which arises from your uh, input you, which you just provided here regarding the uh, consideration by the university. Sir, uh, my question is, suppose we have completed this course, we have earned the credit also, we have got the certification also. If we want to carry forward this course, what are the prospects available? Like uh, if we want to uh, add on this uh, credit, whatever we have earned. So what are the courses available in different universities uh, which will consider the credits earned through the SWAM platform and which can be converted into the courses of some higher uh, 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 labels? I mean. So uh, in the academic uh, in the academic bank of credit uh, format, the, it depends on the receiving university whether uh, uh, whether it is applicable or it is you uh, it is as per the rules of the receiving university then only the credit can be transferred you can just uh, request the recipient university that yes these are my credits if 
it matches with their scope and their guidelines they will accept if they are not accepting for that any particular course then they will give the reasoning in general if your university has already if you are a student say for example for ug pg research scholars if there is some university have adopted academic writing for credit transfer for a particular course just after completing or getting the certificate and getting the certificate from the swayam when you submit that certificate to your controller exam or the authorities that particular credit for that particular paper is automatically transferred or you can say it is reflected in their mark sheet but for that that the course whether it is academic writing or any other course from swayam it must be passed for credit transfer by the competent authorities like send the syndicate executive council board of studies academic council then only the credit transfer is possible otherwise i cannot say that if i am not uh, associated with any university say for example i am working in a particular industry so i cannot expect that my credit will be taken up by a university okay so this is the thing and but this is very much clear for uh, the institution which have already assumed guidelines or swayam credit transfer policy for a particular paper then it is very much clear that it will be reflected into the uh, their uh, respective mark sheet and the credit will be transferred but for a new course you have to apply a fresh to the recipient university and it is the discrimination it is the discriminating power of the university receiving the credits that they may accept or may not accept depending on their outline or credit framework or the syllabus of the course in which you are claiming the credits okay thank you sir not clear thank you so much hope i am clear thank you good afternoon sir good afternoon yeah. sir yeah sir, there is no hope of the uh, extension of date now because your of ca already, your hope has already clicked uh, madam it has been uh, it has already been extended to uh, to uh, today okay so this it is already extended sorry. extended day oh sorry. oh sorry examination date i am asking i have filled the form actually i was unaware achha, achha. unaware no, that madam, it so is far, so far we don't have any knowledge that the exam date is going to be extended or not i cannot say yes i cannot say no but yes till now the examination dates are fixed as uh, in the nt and for regarding that you just be in touch with nt and even if if there is a change in schedule or the date it will be communicated well in advance to you don't worry uh, but however i think that uh, if the uh, i think within uh, one or two week the admit cards will be released if admit card is released then it will be finalized i think where the date is to be changed due to some election and all that it has already been done so it is a rare chance that the date will be extended or the rescheduled some reason in between that's why i'm asking ji theek hai okay so the nt has to take the call if anything is uh, because it's not my domain neither i have any information nor i can commit anything theek hai thank you so anyone else please so first of all thanks to you uh, rather to all the learners dear learners that uh, they uh, with the, we have got a overwhelming response across the states for the exam registration and uh, i hope we are going to break our own record of exam registration this time uh, with the, what is my, what was my target was 1500 at least so i think we are going to cross i hope that we had already crossed 1350 mark uh, one week uh, one week earlier so please but what i would like to it's a cbt exam i am again clarify uh that uh, and for sample question i have already mentioned i will also give the you go to the nta.ac.in forward slash quiz complete mock test you can perform i am putting the link into the chat box just go through nta.ac.in suraj and other learners please go through that link nta.ac.in forward slash quiz you just go there select the swayam select the course and you can give you can give a mock test the entire mock test of around 100 questions uh, you can perform you can do uh, and it will be a good hands on practice of doing the academic writing paper or any other paper uh, 
uh, which is extended by which is offered by the swab okay so nta.ac.in forward slash quiz this is the uh, mock test link where you can perform the mock test and it will be a, a real time you can say real experience uh, whatever you are going to face in the cbt at your test center okay so anyone else dr nagendra you want to say something you have raised your hand Hmm. Sir, actually, yeah. I'm, uh, I want to ask uh, that uh, suppose a student uh, will get uh, fail in internal or external examination. So next time uh, he has to uh, again carry out the course and appear in the internal and external both examinations or uh, he has to appear only in a particular examination. No, the entire course is to be um, uh, redo and uh, internal as well as external both will be taken put together. However, in, uh, in some universities where, in, mark my words, in some universities where the consolidated 40% is the pass marks, not internal plus external. In the various universities, the criteria is like that, that you should score 40% put together internal and external. In that case, you can show, uh, a student can show, a student can show their NTA mark, their course mark sheet, which will be available in the progress uh, dashboard, uh, even if some, say for example, a person fails in uh, internal, he or she gets only 10 marks, okay, out of 30, only 10 marks here and maybe 40 marks there, 50 marks there in the external, say for example, totally 60, but still he or she is not eligible for the certificate. But yes. the result doesn't mention pass or fail in the mark sheet. Mark by words. So you can put your mark sheet to your credit, if especially if it is for credit transfer for the student who are uh, giving the, for the pre PhD or other courses. So they may be treated. They can uh, put because we do uh, practice in our, in some courses where we get the credit transfer. That in my university itself, the consolidated 40% is the passing mark. So when the marks is generated, there is no mention of pass or fail word there. 40% is yes. the criteria for the certification, not for passing actually. Okay. It means yes. if you will be eligible only when, when you will be getting the 40% internal as well as 40% external. It means it is the eligibility condition for certificate. So I'm certificate. But for the credit transfer, you can just put the mark sheet, download the mark sheet where you have got 60%, but still you are not eligible for the certification. But that mark sheet tells that you have scored. 60 marks out of 100 in the universities where jahan par jo aapka total score dekhte hain bas khali ye nahi dekhte ki internal mein kitna external kitna to aap pass mane jayenge aap credit transfer ka advantage wahan se le sakte you can take the advantage of credit transfer by just showing your uh, that mark sheet because you have to you two things are available when the results are declared but when the nta result is declared only nta mark sheet is available after some time NTA CBT marks and the internal marks are joined together and a separate mark sheet is generated in your progress dashboard where you can download your mark sheet and if you are eligible for certification the certificate will also be eligible uh, will be available for download so even if you are not eligible for the certification you have got more than 40 percent or the criteria required by your university then you can just show, download your mark sheet and present to your authorities for getting the credit transfer. Okay, am I clear? Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Sir. So all the student as well as the faculty member can adapt this formula for when you are adapting a particular course because sometime the student may fail in the internal uh, or the external. Say for example, uh, some of you meant some of the learners get 30 out of 30 complete 30 marks okay in the internal but they get only 10 marks say for example here 12 marks or 15 marks in the external so they have quality they have uh, they are clear in internal but external they could not get the 40 percent so they will not be eligible for certification but if university their individual university consider them pass that's okay just put their mark sheet 
and you will be getting the credit transfer. OK. Thank you. That's why we have kept the SWAM has kept. The all the courses free for learning. It means for enrollment, there is no fee only for the certification. There is a token amount taken for the in the form of examination form and later or sooner. The examination center will be on almost every university, at least every central university. They will find a center very soon. So UGC is working on that ministry is working on that soon. All the these problems, especially the problem regarding the supplementary or back. If you, you are if someone is failed, then the solution is going to be given very soon by the University Grants Commission or SWAM board or the Ministry of Education. OK. So anyone else has any query? So I humbly request all the learners, please do join and help other learners who are facing some problems. I, I was seeing some messages in the Telegram channel also. If someone is facing, please do help each other. Uh, because it might not be possible for me to help each and everyone. I do my best to help everyone in my own capacity. Uh, but if I skip some mail, some messages, please do help each other. OK, thank you. Uh, any other query? If you have any query, you are most welcome. So sample question I told you, nta.ac.in forward slash quiz. You will get the mock uh, mock test link. I will also be giving uh, yeah one very important announcement. Uh, I'm going also to make to in the announcement section also. Today or tomorrow is separate week. Not for graded or any no assignment, no activity, nothing. Just for learning by Professor Rajat Agrawal is going to be released on uh, the academic integrity and ethics. All the lectures are there. There is no quiz, no assignment because all the assignment are already over week with week 15. Actually, we have completed our course, but. As a gift to our learners, we will be releasing. An important week as a bonus one bonus week by Professor Rajat Agrawal. Please do uh, go access the course. And see this bonus week uh, which is going to be released today or tomorrow whenever i get the time i will be releasing the same but don't worry and don't uh, be panicked there is no as a self-assessment test there is no graded quiz for this particular week which is going to be released okay so uh, and uh, this is very much important whatever we are as professor Garg also mentioned that academic integrity is very much important that we don't get indulged in the publishing the predatory journals or the salami publication and other things plagiarism just avoid it uh, because the numbers are not important the quality is important that quality of research is important for serving our nation with this thought if anyone have other query please do let me know and uh, we have already spent sir, uh, I, I want to ask another question ah, Bolli, so someone has uh, have uh, someone have uh, submitted the subjective assignments but uh, some of the graded quiz has not been uh, submitted then uh, is there any impact on result okay the, we are going to take the top um, five assignments okay so if you haven't done even the five one then you'll be in problem obviously the percentage will be down OK, uh, if someone has done only three assignment, then obviously it is going to be a problem for him for him or her. Please do at least do all the weekly assignments at least even if you fail in the subject assignment. Don't worry, yeah. we will take care of it. OK, we will take the five best assignments in that case also. We will try it. So don't worry. Passing is not very much, uh, you know, tough. Uh, for that this particular paper, my message is just learn and practice the academic writing and tell other people your students also up at the student ko batayi a piece of scholar up the juniors ko batayi up the sat wa logo batayi you have a paper me as a karna hota as a nai karna hota kai bachelo with a paper utaya aaj kal jo hai pledge in revolk a tool are a ya paraphrasing a tool are a unse kia khali usko paraphrase kia as he copy paste kar diya don't do the such things uh, there are AI uh, generated manuscript 
the people are generating the manuscript through the ai tools don't do that yeah. you make be caught because the expert cast those things because unnecessary paraphrasing tormented phrases are there when the paraphrasing is done and the contextual meaning may be distorted or may be altered when it is done by para, uh, done by paraphrasing tool or these kind of tools and this is clearly can be detected very easily if a reviewer is going through your manuscript okay yeah 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 thank you to aapke koi core query ho to bataye bhai दिस हैज बिन वेरी यू नो इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन एंड जो भी लोग स्किप भी कर रहे हैं उनके लिए हम साथी लोगों के लिए भी जो रिकॉर्डिंग है कम्प्लीट दैट विल बी पुट इन टू यूर डैशबोर्ड जैसा कि हम करते आए हैं क्योंकि मैं इसीलिए जो है टीम्स में करता हूँ बिकॉज आई हैव द लाइसेंस इन विच आई कैन रिकॉर्ड द मीटिंग and uh, record the attendance also how about i don't bother about the attendance whether you are coming here or not because i am making it available to all the learners across the board so everyone gets the message okay so with this thought if our quick query hai to please do let me know before finishing we Mr. can i have another query yeah please uh, it is my that uh, if i have uh, like applied in this uh, the nta uh, website for this academic writing external examination so i just want to know that sir after the uh, like completion of the exam there will be a result so how this result is going to be transferred in our academic course or we need to approach you about with this uh, uh, mark sheet of the nta to you so because i have not uh, uh, like fill of any id that i have already joined this academic writing or something so that is my self doubt so i want to just clarify no if you are course has been adopted by your university and it has been asked that yes this particular course if you do or any two in the central institute jammu as an elective you need to do any one or two course so then you had to surrender or submit the mark sheet downloaded and as well as the certificate downloaded from the progress bar and you will have to submit to your control exam i have no role here for giving you the credit transfer okay so just but it depends aisa nahi hoga ki that koi bhi university mein aap ja ke kahenge ki bhaiya credit transfer ho gaya nahi jab tak ki us university ne until that university has adopted the course or the swayam guidelines for credit transfer the credit cannot be transferred automatically got my point aisa nahi hai ki because uh, where the otherwise it will be a problem jab tak unke scenario mein nahi hai because you, all universities are autonomous bodies they must adopt the swayam guidelines or swayam credit transfer policy for a blanket as a blanket permission like say for many technical university give the blanket permission that if you do any course which is uh, which is uh, you know uh, part of the syllabus or the syllabus is matching to the particular paper then the uh, then the credit will be transferred automatically some universities give course specific permissions approved by their executive council and academic council then their credits can be transferred okay it's not just a general strategy that at randomly you do a particular course and submit the thing it will be added no until it is in your statutory guidelines of that particular university okay so for the online courses which are being offered by ignu and all other such uh, online uh, uh, courses which are offered by the university they are mm. emphasizing on the applicants and the students to create academic bank of credit abc account mm -hmm. so whatever credits they earn uh, they they store uh, those uh, credits in their academic mm -hmm. bank bank uh, uh, academic bank of credit of a particular student and later mm -hmm. on whenever they use their uh, credit uh, that is transferred and that mm -hmm. is uh, a, what do you call kind of encashment of those credits so mm -hmm. is there any such provision for swayam platform also that whatever credit we are earning is there any possibility it can be linked to our academic bank of credit account abc account if we can take up this matter with ugc yes, and can, some yeah i will take it up uh, I, i have this thing in mind and i'll have little bit discussion with the authorities but still to be okay. materialized because uh, generally the academic bank of credits is just meant by the university courses so far and 
the courses which are approved by the universities even if it they are not uh, even if they are not the university taught courses like the swim courses uh, in this case but yes it is a uh, it must be there it, there must be provision in the academic bank credit kit that at least that uh, credits may be given may be uploaded to the that uh, yes, that because that will solve bank. the query raised by our colleague who was just asking whether how come he how come uh, he will come to know that the result has been declared and how is their credit uh, uh, secured so that will solve the problem of many of the learners and that will facilitate to the universities also which will adopt the swam credits for an easy transfer of credit from the abc to their uh, uh, yes, university this, courses this is a wonderful yeah. idea and we are um, rather we have already communicated this thing and um, uh, the but uh, until unless actually if i think the persons who are having the abc ids uh, they must try once that whether they can upload that credit or not uh, i don't know because i'm not aware of that because i don't have the abc id obviously but uh, try it, uh, you ask your student some of your students to um, uh, try this thing and let me know if anything is uh, happening or not that's very easy sir if you could kindly allow me that's very and easy i know uh, i know that it's uploading but whether whether yes, the sir. course of swam that credit yes, can be uploaded or not oh, that that uh, uh, regulatory decision has to be taken as regards the mapping of the credit with uh, abc but yes. uh, students can create credit that will be useful for them for many other courses they will be doing in future and i am sure that very soon this swam credits will also be you know allowed to be stored in this uh, abc uh, yeah, account so just got a, just got in chat box that yes swam credit can be transferred to the abc and uh, if yes. some people have done it please do share the screenshot of that abc uh, with me uh, that would be wonderful otherwise there is no exercise no point to of discussing the thing uh, with the authorities if it is already possible uh, that whether it can be stored into the abc or not uh then it's very wonderful thing yes and uh, and kishore ji you very rightly said that yes it would be not only useful for the learner also for the uh, administrative part or university part to verify the things whether the credits are all they have actually passed the examination or not yes yes sir yes sir thank you thank you sir thank you dr kishore so it has been a wonderful uh, vibrant interactive session with all of you friends and uh, with the serious learners of our academic writing so if anyone uh, wants to say something still something is remaining please do let me know then otherwise we can wrap up the session or uh, and uh, and please do help other persons who are facing some issues in the exam registration and uh, because i don't do the exam registration so I, i may not be aware of the problems or how to resolve them but just generally if i get some queries or problems forwarded by you i do uh, forward them to the competent authorities for the resolution from my part that i that much i can assure you okay so those who are yeah. facing problems they can raise their issues through the telegram channel that you have provided sir and yeah, mutually we can be of help to one another yeah i i can see that many of the learners uh are helping each other it seems very wonderful that yes we are helping each other uh in the various issues and yes this is the purpose of peer learning that how we should help each other in the things related to all the aspect and after the examination also because after that uh, on 18th of may the next uh, exam is there after the exam on 5th of may the all your grades will be open for you so you can very easily say that how much you are going to score in at least five uh, assignment you are getting 100 100 it means obviously your score is 30 30 out of 30 in the internal score rest you have to uh, it means you have to score at least 40 at least 40 out of 100 in the external exam then its 70% weightage will be taken there for the thing. and when you give the cbt within 3 to 4 weeks the nta declares the result and after the declaration of the result two to three weeks time takes for uh, joining the marks of internal and external and providing them into the your progress dashboard so in total one and a half to two months max maximum i'm telling it may be earlier also because uh, generally it's not in my hand that just extend the whenever the 
internal code my responsibility is just towards the internal code that too i will that will be completing after the 5th of may or before your examination even so my work will be done before your examination so within one and a half months you will be having your certification or certificate for download available to your progress dashboard before that when the nta will be declaring the result nta mark sheet will be available on the nta website but the overall mark sheet with internal plus external because the nta mark sheet will only be having the score card of external exam out of 100 only out of that 100 score the 70% weightage will be taken and will be joined to the 30% weightage you received from the internal score and then a consolidated mark sheet a uh, compiled mark sheet with internal external score will be available for download and if you pass 40% 40% both in internal external then the certificate will also be available for uh, your downloading okay in your progress dashboard i think i'm i have cleared you the process after the examination but you are uh, going to expect the timeline i have given so please uh, have patience after the examination that uh, that Uh, it will take little bit of time for declaring the result but i am sure that within one and a half months the result will be declared i think last time last in the last cycle it was just released in within one month so i hope uh, you won't be getting any problem so best of luck for your examination and uh, i hope you will do the wonders you will pass with flying colors and uh, my ultimate or final request is that whenever you communicate your paper or uh you get your public uh, publications out of the learning of the academic writing course please do mention or in your acknowledgement section at least the co our course or our course team i would be highly obliged that yes i could help some of my brothers and sisters of the research arena so thank you thanks a lot uh, for coming or sparing your your valuable time for this learning time thank you pranam Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thanks on behalf of all the yes. colleagues. This course was very nicely designed, and it was very enriching for all of us, particularly for those who are the budding uh, researchers and those who are having the aspirations to join the research. I think this was a uh, uh, this was a very novel kind of design uh, by you, and uh, almost all the things which are associated with the research and which are very inevitable for the process of research, you have brought all those nuances of research. on one platform this is very very a uh, useful course not only for the budding researchers but for those who are practicing researchers also and those who are renowned researchers also because there are certain areas uh, which remain out of touch even uh, for the researchers who have been in this field for many years so thanks a lot sir thanks a lot Thank of you, course uh, uh, i would i would request that there are some updation required in certain sections like uh, like uh, you were just referring that some new regulations of ugc have come and in which there are some updation particularly the phd regulation of 2022 okay. which mandates the publication of research and all otherwise sir very nicely Actually, designed Dr. Kishore, i i am uh, we don't have any funds to update our videos but wherever the possibility sir. regarding the text is there uh, we yes, uh, constantly update the things especially as you might yes. have seen in the uh, the plagiarism regulation we have given the updated regulation there 2018 right sir. so in our right. part we do our best but uh, we have also requested ugc to give us the us the to give us the opportunity to update our course depending on the recent uh, environment or recent requirements thank you for the session thank you thank thanks you. a lot namaskar pranam happy learning